Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Battle Shapers, and I have literally just started. I figured I'd, I'd spare you the uh, the spiel where I look at the title screen, and instead let's just like start with some gameplay. I'm just jumping into the tutorial now, so we'll see what it is. Basically, this is a FPS uh, roguelite, so you know, appeals to my interest. I definitely like an FPS. The roguelite part, well, um, that remains to be seen. I'm, I'm never sure if I'm I'm cool with roguelites. It really wants me to interact with this, though there didn't seem to be much to do here. I have zero meta points. I, am, I imagine these are meta progression things that I can buy, and I have no points to spend. So rather than spend time on that, let's just see if we can leave and... Uh... Okay, here we go. What's uh, this memo? Another cypher cloud? Yo, I'm gonna skip if you don't mind. I just want to kind of jump into some gameplay and see what that's like. Your suit station has been activated. You may now use it to change your equipped cores and control the types of powers and enhancements you get in your runs. You may only change your equipped cores at the beginning of your runs. Okay. And a hold to, to confirm is always something I'm a little bit um, weird on. Primary core and secondary core. So we can change between different ones. Cannot be equipped as primary. Wind core, strike core. Well, let's try, let's just try the one they're, they're defaulting for now. We have, we have some pretty interesting mobility. When damaged enough, foes may become exposed and glow purple. Punching an exposed foe triggers a takedown, causing it to explode violently and spawn shield pickups. I almost get like a kind of an Overwatch vibe from this game. in various for various reasons they had uh, invert y axis which i really appreciate you all know i like my in invert y i'm already taking some damage not sure what that was how do i okay right click the punch there we go and it explodes dealing some extra damage that's fun yeah, I mean, this is all very snappy. I, I appreciate all of that. Just the first room, so, you know. Let's not, let's not get carried away. Overlords? What is this? Echo waves. Projects multiple waves of energy that inflicts vibro and reflect off for surfaces. Oh, I see this is a new ability I've obtained. Cool. So we have uh, very much room-based combats, like you you like move from one arena to the next. Use your reflective punch and outburst core ability to counter your foe's attacks and reflect incoming projectiles back back at them. When equipped, this core will offer enhancements that amplify reflect effects and grants extra ways to generate fury and fortify buffs. Okay. We strafing, we moving, we moving. Yeah, I mean this is this feels pretty good so far. I like the like the the guns feel very good. The gunplay feels pretty good. The sound effects are quite nice. Battering ram, fire shells that inflict kinetic damage. Ooh, big gun. I like big gun. Big gun is pretty good. You know what's better though is bigger gun. You know what they say. I mean, bigger, bigger is usually better. Ooh, what is that? Is that ammo? I like our main character is very vocal. Not vocal in the annoying like protag sense that they're like quipping. I know that's become like almost like a faux pas now. Quippy characters are no longer fun. What is this? Core enhancer enhances uh, the the contains enhancements that augment the capabilities of your equipped shaper cores. Every enhancer you find contains multiple core enhancements that augment your powers. That kind of enhancements that you're offered is controlled by which cores you currently have equipped equipment with different combinations of cores to control your playstyle. Okay. I like the animations. They're they're really slick. Foes hit by projectiles reflected with your punch may become exposed if their health is depleted. 
increase the outburst effects radius. Dashing through foes also slows them. Um, I don't know. Heavy burst seems okay. Sure. I'm not sure how to do the heavy burst. Is it this? Does that reflect back at people? They probably told me that. New Elysium, this doesn't look anything like how I remember. So the place is all purple and corrupty. Oh, they, they're literally calling it the corruption? That's funny. I mean, I guess that makes sense. This was something of a lively metropolis that is before the overlords insisted the citizens take leave. And uh, well, I'm sure that's a very fascinating story, but let's get back to punching and kicking things. Select your target. Overlord influence. Overlords obtain special powers every time you face them. These powers influence the types of foes, traps, challenges, and retaliations they will use against you. I appreciate this. I appreciate a good theme. I even like that uh, we have like a, a building in the bottom right corner. It gives us a little bit of flavor. Locked in demo. So the only one we can pick is Volt Colossus. We almost have like a kind of a Mega Man thing going on in this game, which is quite cool. I do appreciate uh, some some Mega Man vibes. Actually, it feels to me like there's a, quite a lot of Mega Man uh, influence on this game. With the Breaker's Punch upgrade, your punch will inflict a break, which gives all further attacks a chance to become critical hits. Victim also takes additional damage from critical hits. Fun. Got to, I mean, this is quite the look. I guess they're generating like the whole dungeon. Once a laboratory pioneering the development of state-of-the-art robotic. Well, that's just fluff. I might have to do a pause here if it uh, takes much longer. Okay. I'll say I, I appreciate the design of the, the main character. All right, let's see. I still have my abilities, so I don't know if that was a tutorial that gave me mainstay abilities or if I've earned abilities that are unique to this run. I don't know if I like this gun. It seemed like my old gun was a little bit more, I don't know, peppy. That was good though. I guess that uh, that was a new enemy type, so they might have been a bit tankier. Retaliation. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Ouch. You can really get a, a flow and like chain attacks together, which is kind of cool. You can do like a sprint and a punch at the same time, which is cool. Oh. It seems to me like all of the enemies in the arena will like die once I've uh, killed enough. If this is a, yeah, this is a machine gun. I think I'll switch back to something a bit peppier. This seems to me like, yeah, it's going to be a little, it's going to be quite peppy. Excuse my overuse of the word peppy. I don't care. We have chests. I like when the things pop out of the chest and I get the cool dopamines. Who is this corruption? Locked in demo. Shaper Rift combat. Beat the combat challenge inside the Shaper Rift without getting hit to earn powerful ro Okay, we got mainstay roguelite mechanics. We are getting lots of gems to unlock weapons. Like I say, I mean, it's a very difficult um, balance to maintain. Oh, we got a platforming puzzle. Um, but I mean, my, my main concern when it comes to meta progression isn't that it exists. It's that do you require it in order to progress? Like, am I going to feel like I just hit a wall of difficulty in this run in order, like, oh, I didn't unlock enough things? That's my meta progression spiel. I, I, it almost feels obligatory in these kind of games. But outside of that, I mean, I am enjoying the actual gameplay, so it almost seems like a moot point. Music's quite nice. Retaliation. I don't know what that means. Also, I don't... Not... Oh, what's going on there? 
Uh oh. Okay, I thought this was like a death condition. Oh god, you know I say this a lot, but I am getting some like Sonic Adventure vibes from the uh, oh, from the music, which I don't hate at all. I like that. In fact, oh god, it's kind of the punch attack is quite slippy. I guess I should have attacked that thing first. I think that was like buffing all of the enemies. We have a new weapon. I am definitely going to try new weapons if I see them. Assault rifle. It might be... Yeah, this is quite good. I like this. I'm assuming uh, exploring around is going to be worth it for me because there's going to be more of those chests kind of hanging around. I think um, like my first couple of runs, I would bother... But after a while, I think I would probably not. This looks like a secret. Really? It's not a secret? I feel like that's demo locked because that, if that isn't something you can blow apart and then find something extra, then, uh, you know, maybe my gamer sense is, is just not, not on point anymore. And then what is this? Yeah, destroy this? I like, uh, you know, we've got... Um, what is happening here? Defeat all the enemies before time runs out. Oh. Where are they? Ugh. That, that feels pretty bad. There we go. I'm almost like not aware of like how much health I have it's probably not a good thing I have how much time left the interface is quite busy so it's hard to tell like exactly oh 23 seconds okay Ten seconds, I'm not gonna make it. Four seconds. Yo, reload faster, please. Yeah, I didn't make it. That's fine. If it wasn't challenging, I, I don't think it would be very interesting. I took a lot of damage. Well, luckily they're giving me some health back. No? Kinda, not really. It had a health symbol, but I, I really thought I was going to get more health than that. Alright, well, let's see if I can't um, recover in the next couple of rooms. Ooh, we got another jumping puzzle. Quite like these. These are actually, you know, pretty fun. Giving me, uh, this game's getting kind of... I can't remember the name of that other, like, the FPS um, roguelite with... Um, puzzle like puzzle platform sections i'm trying to remember the name of oh ziggurat and ziggurat 2 i meant to play uh try ziggurat 2 i've heard it's good so far this is good i'm enjoying this Ooh, did we get a double kill there that's quite good i'm not sure if maybe like uh our echo thing does more damage if we don't do it for a while. What is this? Oh, a core enhancement. Nice. No glitch. I'm just that good. When your shield breaks, you gain haste. Reflecting projectiles instantly decreases your outburst cooldown. Overdrive also gives you 10%. I don't know what overdrive is. I don't think I have it yet. So let's just take reflective recycling. The, um, I will say the, the upgrades are quite interesting. Like, they, like, I actually feel like it's a choice and not just, like, tedious. I do, you know, like, I feel like a lot of roguelites make the mistake of, like, not making the upgrades interesting, but also making them too obvious which ones are just the good take. It, there's a lot of mistakes that you can make when designing a roguelite. One of them being like, I, I think it's kind of tedious on the, the part of the player 
when every single upgrade comes with a downside and not just the downside but it, the downside actually like pretty much negates whatever good the power up does or has trying to find the door to the next area i do wish that up um that map was a little bit more useful doesn't uh, seem to be showing me how to get out of here there is a symbol oh do i have to go up there return to junction okay so i had to come here let's press m m does not open a map let's press tab there we go it's either it's either m or tab uh kind of not sure what i'm supposed to do this is what I get for uh, ignoring the story. Are we just, are we just leaving? Okay, this is new dungeon. All right, here we go. This seems correct. Still really low on health. That's not good. Not sure what to do about that. Oh, wow, that was pretty cool. You can you can really get in the flow of things. Uh, it does a good job. I mean, the interface is busy, but it is also pretty readable. Like I can. For the most part, understand what everything is. Okay, so what do we got here? Unlocked. Or no, sorry, locked. What is that beeping? What does that beeping mean? I don't like that. What is that? There's a, I'm, I'm, I seem to be, something seems to be happening and I don't know what. Okay. I think I was trying to unlock the the chest but I didn't I didn't understand the lose condition and also the chest seems to be gone now well that's a bummer oh there's still enemies I was wondering why the music was still going is there is there still enemies what is it oh that's still that shotgun I don't want that shotgun Okay, well, um, I think I'm done in this room, even though that music is still, like, combat mode. Might be a bug, honestly. I do appreciate the kind of, like, environmental hazards in this game. Like, the, you know, it's not just enemies. It's not just, like, a tunnel of enemies. There's also things to, like worry about in terms of the environment there's things to shoot at there's things to interact with the uh the actual dungeon itself feels fairly alive hit the deck holly we got trouble she doesn't look like trouble to me huck she looks like a customer oh cool a shop i do quite like the um yeah, I mean, the animations are really well done, but also just like the design of 
some of these things like you could have just do uh a shop nothing nothing super interesting about that like just a shop somewhere you buy stuff but making it like a little robot with a personality it definitely you know it it, it compels me a bit more for sure so i managed to buy some health this is a boss it is a boss this is the Colossi, whatever his name is, Col Colosseum, Vault Colossus. There he is. What? Uh, no, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Are manners suddenly obsolete? Bah, manners are for weaklings. The strong apologize to no one. I kind of wish that you could skip to the next text a bit quicker. I'm not going to say sorry for smashing you. Oh god. I do have an echo, so there we go. I'm definitely going to need uh, my dash because these abilities are quick. Did the game just crash? No, I just died. That's what that was. I don't even know how much damage I did to the lad, but I know it wasn't much. So, you know, the question is always, well, did I lose because uh, skill issue or did I lose because, um, you know, meta points issue? I don't know. I'm not going to theorize. But what I am going to do is I'm going to spend my points and then see if I have a much easier time of it. And I'm going to use that as a basis. I mean, I have 106 points. So, like, to me, that does definitely say that your second run is going to be vastly improved from your first run. Because we can buy this, increase armor, increase shields, auto reloader, maybe recycle gear. What is that? Gear you find is, um, I should have read it, I suppose. Um, we have 10 points left. Talent decoded. Uh, where is it? It should be in here. It's not. But there is quite a lot of things that you can unlock. I don't. I don't want to know. I'm good. If I end up picking up this game, I'll do the storyline then. We can try a different primary core. Uh, we'll try the strike core. Oh, very different color palette. I appreciate that. And then we'll try the wind core. It says broken. What does that mean? Are they all broken? Savage drive after using overkill gain overdrive for each hit. Um, Hunter's frenzy. It's got, we got a lot of stuff going on here. And I know the you, the viewer, is like, and you're reading none of it. True. Use your dash strike on foes to earn hunter's marks. After enough marks are earned, deactivate or activate your overkill ability to slow down time and unleash a flurry of, of dash strikes to quickly dispatch foes. When equipped, this core will offer enhancements that amplify your overkill effects and grant extra ways to generate haste and overdrive buffs. Cool. How quickly how much how often can I do the strike? So I've got two strikes. Oh, this is cool. This is a very different way of playing. I dig that a lot. The like slow mo kill mode, that's that is really cool. I feel like my only limitation or problem is going to be oh, this is a cool gun. Um, that I actually don't have enough enemies on the field to like pull that off very often. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna try and pull it off as much as possible. I'm going to be shooting 
and then as soon as my melee is off cooldown i'll try and use it oh okay you see you only you get a number of strikes equal to how many strikes you built up over time over your course okay so like maybe if i get one strike i can do an overload then nope okay so you you have to build up three strikes and then you get a cool like slow-mo mode that's that's cool i i like that Fred check uh oh this is our echo wave again i didn't think that we were what was that that was weird I just realized that we have a we can reload i i haven't even like realized that there, i mean i know there, that we've been reloading but i didn't realize that reloading is something that we care about so we've got ourselves a core enhancement let's take that after using overkill gain overdrive for each foe hit yeah dead eye also i don't think we have dead eye this is this is definitely the one we want also we get more health I don't think I went over here last time. There's an extra thing over here. Lore discovered. I appreciate the transparency of that. It's just lore. Okay, so, I mean, we only have the one place right now because of the demo, so I'm just going to do that again. I did a pause to save you the loading screen. It is a little long, but I mean, like once you're in, there's no loading. So that's kind of, that's fine with me. All right. Okay, one, one strike. Don't forget about shooting. You also want to shoot your gun. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can generate more than one. That's that's really cool. Okay, so you can generate more than one um, with a strike. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying this build a lot more. Oh, yes. Ooh, that's fun. I like that. Wow, you really evaded my sight there for a while. We also, we also have uh, new enemy types. I mean, this is the same enemy, but it's got some new stuff going on. Oh, I can hold the, but the, the button down for a bigger charge. Dang. Yeah, this is uh, this there's actually a bit bit of stuff going on in this game. Heck yeah, a concussive grenade that damages and stuns foes. Um, I guess it replaces echo waves sure and then we can this is a new ability we can now recycle stuff to gain um wait a minute did I like I was wondering if I actually uh had a different ability for reloading my gun or something I kind of hope well yeah you you really gotta like explore the the arena fully if you want to get all your stuff but I do hope that like there's a maybe a slight quality of life feature, which is um, any stuff on the floor that you forgot to pick up just kind of gets added to your inventory when you leave the room. I appreciate stuff like that. I don't care, you know, that, it, that you cheated yourself. Nah. Ooh, that was close. Because you can just walk into them. You don't have to. You don't have to jump on them.
Yeah, this is uh, this is legit legit Let's try a grenade This guy seems really tanky. It says there's like stuff all over the field, but I... Do I have to shoot these? Or is there an actual like enemy on the field? I think I could probably just like finish the level. Defeat all nearby foes before attempting to destroy the corruption nest. No. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, that was dumb. Luckily it only removed my uh, Oh, there's still a there's still an actual dude. There you go. Yeah, it only removed my shield, which you seem to get back um, when you're done the level. Is that an enhancement? Yes. Increase the maximum amount of hunter's marks you can obtain. Ooh, that sounds really good. Your dash strike has a chance of granting additional. No, I don't like chance based stuff. Um, I like I like, you know, objective improvements rather than like potential improvements. It's not, I don't know it maybe maybe I'm I'm kind of whiny when it comes to this stuff But I I don't like the trend when it comes to roguelites of like Yeah, this improvement gives you like a 10 or 20 percent chance for X thing to happen Um rather than just like giving me a, an improvement Oh no I'm not doing well right now Oh wow, that was really bad Nice. Nice. Hey, that I didn't do that at all. I guess you can strike sideways. Didn't expect that. There's still more. Ha Yo, I went over the enemy there. That's a little funky. Did I actually make it? Yo, they keep spawning new enemies. That seems a little cheesy. They like I ever uh, there's at least three moments there where I thought I killed everything and it felt like they just added more enemies to the pile. Restores three measly health points better than nothing. It's really not. <laughs> This still feels like something. I refuse to believe that's nothing. I have to believe that that's just the demo locked, basically. Also, I don't feel like I've been able to acquire my fourth hunter's mark since I got that enhancement. I wish I could um, reduce the cooldown on my uh, strike. That'd be nice. Yeah, you gotta watch yourself. If you hold, a, if you're holding a button. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I'm getting a fourth strike. So that's just like an enhancement that's like not working right now. Maybe I just read it wrong. 
I'm willing to believe that. I do, I do do that. Oh God, I really, I kind of wish that wasn't a thing. I'm gonna try um, striking again. Yeah, I only seem to be able to get three. I wonder if you get to keep your strikes between levels. Nope. So let me see. Um, is there a way to check my yeah shaper cores inventory? Overkill. Core abilities. It doesn't look like it's like, where are these enhancements? Oh, here's my enhancement enhancements increases the maximum number of hunters marks you can obtain that use dash like on foes to gain hunters marks and pa pa okay so this like it, it should just like allow me to get four and i feel like it's just not working um kind of a bummer so what's the damage on this 14 times 9 versus 7 to 51 um i do kind of just appreciate it when they tell you flat out what the DPS is, and then you, it's easier to compare. Uh, that's a preference thing. Some people don't like that. Okay, that was weird. Oh, am I supposed to... Oh, I see. I, I took damage from those lasers. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Doesn't seem like there's any way through this. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. Oh, I see it. I see it. How long does that last? Not long. Wow. Okay. So you just got to be on point. And there it is. All right. This has to be a glitch. How are you still alive? Okay. So I think this is, we get our shop. I have much more health this time and I, I know better what to expect. What is this? Assault rifle that inflicts shock. It's created an electrical arc that jumps to nearby foes. Has the chance to stun. Stun never works on enemies. All right. Um, grenade that repeatedly inflicts shock. Grants two overdrive on use up to a max of five. Or a core enhancer. How much money do I have? Enough. God, I don't like hold to confirm. You have a chance to also gain uh, of also gaining overdrive whenever you gain haste. Your dash strike has a chance of getting granting additional hunters marks. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I mean, I'll take it. But we'll see if it works. Yeah, yeah. Why, why didn't my thing? Oh, I see. Ouch. Hitting the boss directly, it seems like a mistake. Oh, it seemed to give me four that time. So that worked out well. Oh god. Oh god. 
Yeah, I saw that coming. I should really use my grenade more often. Did that hurt me? Oh, the sideways strike strikes again. No, I think I won. Are you gonna explode? Explode! Yay! I got all the stuff! Your Hunter's Dash strike has a chance of granting additional Hunter's Marks. Overdrive also gives you 10% chance per stack to not consume ammo when shooting. Uh, just double down on this Hunter's Mark business. What is this? Volt core broken. Volt Colossus incomplete core. Keep defeating Volt Colossus to unlock its full power up. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Is that the end of the demo? You sure gave them a, rec a Robo Reckoning shaper. I think you're okay. Yeah. I mean, that's fun. I I had a good time. And though I did um, seem to stomp the boss on my second attempt after unlocking some stuff, I don't know if the things, the things I unlocked gave me a, a huge advantage, but uh, it's always the doubt that I don't like so much as the objective truth of it. So I'm not sure. Um, I know you're, you like to check in at a, but I would advise not getting blown up. Let's see. I just want to see what I can unlock here. Need later, so that's a another gun bulwark. What is this? Oh, that's like a, yeah. There's a little bit of like a MOBA-ish like uh, Overwatch kind of stuff going on in this game. There's like a it's, it's a mash of many different genres, and I kind of appreciate that. It definitely feels like it stands on its own two feet, um, having taken lots of other influences. So, yeah. Um, so this. What was this? Battle Shapers. Uh, I like this. I think I might even pick it up. Uh, it really depends on uh, what when it comes out versus like how how my coffers are doing. But this is uh, this is fun. I like this game. I don't think that it would make a very appropriate series on my channel, but um, I do think that I would probably pick it up and play in my own time. So I like this. Uh, if you like it, if you play the demo, maybe let me know in the comments and tell me what you think of it. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.